What up y'all DC Fago guy today we are going to be taking a look at the Hurricane of Diamonds compilation album that's what I'm calling this that was released on the Slam Fest tour or only some of the stops so from what I had heard this was originally supposed to be released on the Slam Fest tour eventually being released on psychopathicmerch.com that is what the Fago lovers post said back in February however from what I what I've gathered only a few of the stops actually had the CD. Apparently there was some kind of printing issues and they didn't have enough copies. Who really knows? However, I do believe this will eventually see a full release on Psychopathic Merch. And the reason I say that is because the content's inside. So let's jump right into this and take a look at it. That is the front. Pretty sweet. Stick it to the theme of the, you know, the Diamond Rain era of 17 that they, they, that they had that they were pushing last year. So pretty dope, pretty dope. Take a look at the spine. There it is. Pretty white. Easy to spot on the CD tower. Love the 17 right there. It just It's so reminiscent of the gather, of Gathering 17. It just uh, good time, so I love it. Let's go ahead and take a look on to the inside. There you have the disc with some diamond rain in the midst. Beautiful iced out hatchet man with the 17 in that in that hatchet blade there, the meat cleaver blade. Pull the book out here. See, this is a very thick book, and this is what I'm saying. When you guys see inside this, this is what tells me that they intend for this to be, you know. Um, they intend for more jugglers to be able to get this. I don't see this being exclusive. So they have the Ice Style 17. Let's go ahead and open it up. I am not going to read to you everything in here just because I don't want to kind of I don't want to take that away from you guys if you end up picking this up in the future. So I'm just going to kind of give a basically in a nutshell what's being said here. So they're basically just talking about the year 2017 and uh basically how fucking dope it was and just basically talking about which part of it you enjoyed the most. You know, did you enjoy Juggle a Weekend last year, which is where they get the photos at here? Did you enjoy the first ever Dark Carnival Games convention? There's other stuff I'm missing here. I mean, right here it actually brings up the Juggalo March, which we'll get to the pictures when, it, when we get to that. Uh, the Gathering of the Juggalos. Well, and here they're talking about Hollow Wicked. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to read everything to you. I'm just going to give, like, basically a summary and show you everything. Um, Canadian Juggalo Weekend here, Biggest Ballas, uh, the little solo tours that they did. Nope, I'm sorry, that was the uh, the last Riddle Box show that they did, but they did mention the uh, solo tours. And then here it talks about all the different videos that they put out, the music they put out as far as uh, Light and then signing Ouija Mac, the appearances they made on Howard Stern, Shade 45, and uh, Hot 97. They have some pictures from the Juggalo March. We're getting some promo stuff here. This year's DCG Con. Oracle Three Rings, which is released at this year's DCG Con. Or perhaps it was the very different ICP event that floated your boat the hardest Carnival of Carnage show, which fucking would have loved to be there. Uh, promo for this year's gathering, which hopefully I'll make it to this. I'm not going to be able to make it to the DC to the DCG con this year, but um, my sights are set on the gathering. A little promo for Ouija Max Gutter Water. Beware FFF coming sooner than you think. Can't fucking wait. I have I have high hopes and expectations that this may see a gathering release. That's purely speculation on my part, but that's. That's what I'm hoping for, maybe late sometime in the fall, but I'm definitely feeling this year. There you have some pictures from uh, Hollow Wicked. So this part I am going to read to you. So, to basically sum things up, the Wicked Clowns of Psychopathic Records made the absolute most out of a very special year in our Juggalo lives. And we hope you did the same. And if you don't think you did, don't even worry about it. You still have the rest of your lives as we truly believe the Hurricane of Diamonds shines on in our souls forever. This album is our very best attempt to capture the essence of the 365 magical days of 2017. We proudly present to you 17, The Hurricane of Diamond Rain, and we hope this will serve as the soundtrack to Psychopathic Records and the Juggalo World Spec Fucking Tacular 2017. Whoop, whoop. So that right there is what makes me believe this will see a full release. Psychopathic merch, future um, events. 
think they just ran into issues on the Slamfest tour. I don't I don't see them keeping this as something exclusive. They put this together well with intentions of Juggalos getting it. So let's go ahead and flip it over, take a look at the back with the track list, which is intro. The hurricane of Diamond Ring in 17. Hurricane of Diamonds. Yeah. Make sure you got your 17 game on. Ah. Ooh, child, get if we were a gang. For your mama wrote me, she took it in the butt, both nuts in the whole meat and cooked like a chicken. I fucked her with a two liter. We can both fit her dick and she a two seater. But only you we sleep creeper. Smell his cologne in my bed when I crawl under my sheets. He's always watching. He's watching me sleep. Shh. I think he's watching creeping down my street. Straight stalking. He's always watching me sleep. Indestructible. Might bring the disaster after. Indestructible. No matter what they say. Words can't cut. For life. Juggle up for life. life. Yeah. yeah. Drop down the scrubs, but my talent telling tight. My star is shining bright. Seven foot, eight foot. <laughs> Excuse my charisma, like an escape prisoner host got me in some hot pursuit. Tell these bitches. Shout to my thugs and my scrubs going in for the kill, mad love from my fam. Yeah, keeping it real, still holding that. Fuck my dad, the extended mix with light. Dear dead, beat dead. Suck a fat dick, coward. We turned out dangerous and high powered. I thank God you wasn't around to instill your bitchness. Flint Town Titty Bar Bathroom. And bled like oil, we're in. In a Flint Town Titty Bar Bathroom. In a Flint Town Titty Bar Bathroom. Every gentleman knows that it's anything. Black Blizzard. It's only flatliners can find us within a black blizzard. A tornado, a hurricane of pain. Bloody. Bloody. In my darkest room. Juggalo love cipher. Young Lizzo, hotter than the sun, fizzle sun. About to do my thug fizzle, thug. About to blow up like a scud missile. Psychopathic heart throb, heart god, heart god. I can make a tongue drizzle. Yes. That's official. Fish. Professional Juggalo pro. Noited jelly and heated. Noited, noited, heated, heated, jelly, jelly. Hell, man. They're shocking me, popping me. They're lifting me, dropping me. Noited, noited, heated, heated, jelly, jelly. Dead body man three. Call me the dead body man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Words. Chance for retarded kids to get laid. Danny K and Coach Hill. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Cuss words, let them roll. Motherfuck shit, goddamn asshole. So as you can see, there are some tracks on here that have been previously released in some kind of a form, with Indestructible being from the Mighty Death Pop. Uh, smothered, cover, covered, and chunked bonus disc. Tell these bitches from Fuck the Fuck Off, Motherfucker. The original version of Fuck My Dad can be found on Forgotten Freshness Volume 5, Flint Town Titty Bar Bathroom off of Light's debut EP, um, Black Blizzard off the 20th anniversary Great Malenko, and Bloody. Um, Bloody is kind of a, would be kind of a rarity if you didn't get your hands on the incredible collectible collection that was released at the gathering last year. And then Noited Jelly, uh, Noited Jelly and Heated, as well as Dead Body Man 3, was released on the Bloody Screams of 17 Hollow Wicked release, which again, if you weren't able to get it at Hollow Wicked, is now rare. So everything else on here has not seen some kind of a physical form, which is the biggest reason that I wanted to pick this up and was willing to pay the price that I paid for it, because it was honestly going to be cheaper to order this off eBay than to go to the Slamfest tour, which, you know, if I would have shot out the money to go to the tour with hopes of getting this, I would have been disappointed because from the sounds of it, not many um, shows had it. So 
Uh, favorite tracks on here, I, I like the way this is put together. I, I call this a greatest hits of 2017, and the book even says it was their attempt to make this like a soundtrack. So this definitely stands out as a greatest hits of 2017. Pretty much everything that was released last year, I was I was fucking with hardcore. Even even for life. I mean, a lot of people just did not care for that track, but man, fucking Violent J was just clowning, having a good time, and enjoying life and. You know, I've, I've, I'm loving the song more, even without the video. I'm, I'm just loving it more. Um, so everything that they put on here, I don't fully understand why uh, why they put Flint Town Titty Bar Bathroom on here. I feel like maybe they should have done Mad Real, since that was the debut um, music video from White's EP. I feel like that would have been the one to put on here, but it is what it is. It turned out... It turned out great. That's definitely the one track I probably skip on this as well. Well, kind of fuck my dad. I feel like I feel like fuck my dad just kind of puts a damper on the theme of the album, so I tend to skip it a lot. I yeah, I skip. I just I skip it. Everything else fucking amazing. I love bleep. I love cuss words. I mean, they're fucking coming with the wicked shit. They're definitely coming with the wicked shit, and um, it's got me excited to hear what Fearless Fred Fury will have in store for us. So, there you guys go. That is the Hurricane of Diamonds. I am very, very, very confident that this will see a release on Psychopathic Merch. So, it's just a matter of being patient. I know that's really hard to do because I lost my patience and, and shelled out some money to get this off of eBay because I wanted it so fucking badly. Anyways, there is that. Absolutely love it. It is definitely something I will be bumping for a while. So definitely keep your eye out for when it gets released on Psychopathic Merch. Again, I confidently believe it will see a full release. They intended for this to be a full release the way they put it together. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.